Hello all, welcome to the video series SQL. In this video, we will talk about join. So joins is the most important um, when you are working with SQL because all the time you will be doing, you will be using joins to get the data from multiple tables. In a relational database management system, all your data is just not in one table. It is divided into multiple tables. And then you have to write a SQL code to join all this data and get the information that you are looking for. Okay, so 99% of the time when you are writing SQL code and getting data, you will have to use joins. Okay, or I would say 100% actually. So joins is very important. So there are different types of joins. Uh, inner join, left outer join, right outer join, full outer join and a cross join. So we will talk about uh, these joins with simple examples in this video and then in the next video we will take a complicated uh, data and then we will try to use these joins. Okay. So let's get started. So I'll try to create a simple table. We'll just call it as name. So that's my customer table and I want to create the orders table. I would not create foreign key actually I'll try to show you some examples and then I'll try to create the foreign key. Okay so I have two tables customers table and orders table and in customers table I have customer ID first name email ID and in the orders table I have order ID and then the customer ID and ordered item. Okay, so let's insert some data into the table. So that's the data in my um, orders table. So that, sorry, that was in customers table and uh, I would create some data in orders table.
All right. So I have these two tables: customers table and orders table. So now in my in my customers table, I have three customers. All right, John, Rob, and David. And I in my orders table, I have three orders. Uh, one was made by one was made by John, and the other and the other one was made by Rob, and then the third one. Uh, we don't know who placed this order okay and then there is no order for david okay so david did not make any order so this is how the data looks like so we talked about uh, foreign key and primary key constraint in our earlier videos so primary key constraint basically it um, identifies the record uniquely okay and then a foreign key constraint basically ties two tables okay so foreign key constraint or a foreign key column uh, is a relationship between two tables so this uh, so customer id is a primary key column in customers table and the same customer id is a foreign key column in orders table okay so using these two columns we will be joining the data okay so relational database management system is nothing but where you store your data in the form of tables and you maintain a relationship between these tables to uh, fetch the data back all right so the relationship between these two tables is the customer id so using customer id you can join these two tables okay so let's see how do we use um, joins okay so now we know select star from table and we are getting all these three columns okay now let's say i want to get all the columns in one result set okay so now if i try to run these two select statement i got this is your first result set and this is your second result set okay but i want to get all these columns or let's say all the information for john in one result set okay all the information for john in one result set so how do you do that so first i would say select star from customers table and i would say where first name is john okay so if i try to run that query you can see customer id of john and his name and then his email id i got it so now i want to have another columns to get the order information of customer okay so how do i do that so i would say inner join okay so that's the first type of join inner join and the orders table okay and on condition okay so these two tables basically if you look at the data here you you have 101 john and his email id and then if you want to get his order information you use you look at 101 in this table right so the value in this column is equal to the value in this column that's the condition you are, you are looking for 101 is equal to 101 and then get this value so that's the item ordered by john so basically you are writing the same thing so you are saying customers table dot column customer id is equal to orders table dot customer id so customer id column in this table must be equal to customer id uh, column on this table okay and you are basically referencing only you are looking for first name john okay and that's it so if you try to run that query you can see customer id from customer table and first name from customer table email id from customer table and order id customer id and order item from orders table okay so that's that's what you wanted all right so what happened here so all so when you say star all the columns involved in your query okay so star means all the columns so in customers table there are three columns it showed up and in orders table it showed it, it had uh, three columns so it showed up okay so customer id if you see it's repeating okay and which you don't want to happen okay so let's say i'll say customers table dot 
customer id and customer stable dot first name and customer stable dot row created sorry that was email id okay so that's the three columns from customers table and now let's pull the data from orders table as well orders dot ordered item that's what you wanted okay you don't want to look at order id as well or maybe if you want to look at order dot order id all right so if you run that query there's a comma missing and if you run that all right something else is missing okay now you can see customer id first name email id order id and order item okay so instead of looking at all the columns because the two tables which you are trying to join may have hundreds of columns you don't want to look at all the data or all the column data so you can fill you can basically select the columns which you want to look at it okay so so now you got your john's information okay so now let's actually remove that where clause just for now okay and then if you try to run the data or if you try to run that query you can see john's customer id john's email id john's ordered id and john's ordered item and similarly for rob okay so now you can see john's and rob's information before when we put a where clause we were looking only for john's information okay so now i want to remove this where clause and look at all the data that your inner join showed up okay so what if we try to look at the data of these tables this is your customer table order table and this is your uh, query where you wrote your inner join okay so inner join basically what did it do so inner join will bring the intersecting data or the common data between two tables okay based upon the condition you wrote okay so here you wrote the customer id in customer table is equal to order table customer id okay so 101 is here and then in it's in here so it showed up and 102 is here and it's also here it showed up and 103 is not here so that record didn't show up and null is not here so that also didn't show up so only the common data 101 and 102 so they are, those values are in both tables so that's the reason both the records showed up okay so the common data or the intersecting data will show up when you do an inner join okay so now let's run the same query with a left join okay and execute your query let's execute all three queries okay now you can see john and rob showed up and there is a record 103 from your left table okay so what what do i mean by left table whenever you are trying to write a join the table which is left to that is called a left table and the right table is i mean the table which is towards the right of the join is called a right table so this is your left table and this is your right table so if i look at my data again so left join means left outer join means it gets all the records from your left table and it will try to find a match in the right table okay so in my left table i have 102 10 sorry 101 102 103 so it showed 102 10 sorry 101 102 103 and it showed all the data from the left table and 101 had a match in the right table so it showed up 102 had a match in the right table it showed up 
103 didn't find a match in the right table so it put it as null values okay so inner join is basically getting the intersecting data left join will get all the records from the left table and if it finds a match in the right table it will get it or if it didn't find a match it will put it as null value okay so that's the left table if I try to do a right join exactly opposite to the left join it will try to get all the records from the right table so your right table has this records first order second order and third order the first order was ordered by John it showed up the second order was ordered by Rob it showed up but the third order no one ordered so it didn't pull any customer information it's not there in the left table right so it got all the data from the right table and then if it finds a match it will show up from the left table if it didn't find a match it will put it as null values okay so that's your right outer join and let's look at full outer join full outer join is a combination of left and right join okay so if a so it showed up all the data from your left table and then if it found a match it showed up found a match it showed up didn't found a match it put it as null and then one or uh, the third order from the right table these two and then this were uh, these two and this one these three records were from the right table so it showed up and then it didn't the third one didn't find a match it didn't show up okay so you get all the data from all the tables involved in your join okay and then if it tries to find a match it will show up if it didn't find a match it doesn't show up or it just puts it as null value that's all so inner join basically tries to get the data from the common data okay from both the tables left join will get all the data from all the records from the left table and then if it finds a match in the right table it will get it or it will put it as null value right join will get all the records from the right table if it finds a match in the left table it will get it or it will put it as null value and full outer join will get all the records from all the tables involved in the join and if it finds a match it will put a value if it didn't find a match it will put a null value that's all uh, about joins so as simple as it once you try to write queries uh, using joins you will understand it more uh, in a better way okay so all you have to remember is inner join intersecting data or common data left join all the records from left table right join all the records from right table and full join all the records from all the tables involved in the joins okay so now this is you basically this is your output all right so now you can use your where class to filter out whichever data you want so you can say uh, customers table dot uh, first first name is equal to John okay so once you join the data that is your output okay now you can filter out your data out of that output okay now you want to look at only John's information or let's say you want to look at the grocery information so you would say order dot order item who ordered grocery okay so that's your query okay and then let's say order item is null that means who all the customers who did not order okay so if I try to run that query you can see David did not order any item okay or you can also say um, customers dot first name is null okay so is there a and orders dot ordered item is not null okay so you are saying there is an order item but for that particular order there is no customer okay so all the orders that don't have any customer information you want to get it You can see fruits was the order the, which is there in the orders table but which does not have a customer information so this is some kind of bad data okay 
but basically that's how you use um, joins to get your data so other thing is when you are trying to here you can join here you try to join two tables one is customer table and orders table you can actually keep on joining a uh, table to on some condition okay so when you are trying to join you use you need to use that on condition to do the joins and then left join a uh, table 3 on some condition so some so basically you can uh, write a you can join any number of tables here okay and then you can get your data in the select instead of getting all the data you can basically look at only those columns that you want and then you can also use where clause to filter out the data as well okay we will talk we will see how uh, we will take a complicated tables and then we will try to get the data using multiple joins okay but all you have to do is remember is whenever you do the join that's your right table and then the whatever becomes uh, whatever is on your left of the join uh, will become your left table and then the right will be the right table okay so for this one the left table is either customers or orders and the right table is table 2 and for this left join the left table will be either customers orders or table 2 and then your right table will be table 3 okay so that's how you do joins and actually let's look at something else as well called aliases okay so alias is nothing but a um, another name which you can give okay so like customers table okay so and wherever you are trying to pull the column information from customers you are seeing customers dot customer id customers dot email id customers dot f name and similarly orders also right so sometimes the table names becomes huge so you don't want to repeat those table names everywhere in your query instead you can say as as c okay and then orders you can say as O. okay so now wherever you are trying to use customers table you can just say C that way it's more uh, readable and then orders you can say O so that's basic just basically aliasing your tables because if you have like 10 joints and then 20 tables and you will end up uh, with a um, nasty code okay instead you want to um, write a neat code that way by looking at it uh, you can uh, read it's a readable okay so basically as a new name so that way you can use that name when you're whenever you are referencing that particular table okay so like like a nickname all right so for columns also if you try to run this query you can see the column names right so if the column names are not what you want to read i mean what not what you want to see then you can just say specify readable column names customer um, id and then you can say as customer first name as email id okay as order id as order item something like that and then if you try to look at the data now by looking at the column names you can say that's a customer first name because if you say f name no one knows if it's a customer first name or employee first name or what what does f name means okay so that's how you can create a column aliases as well but nothing when you create these aliases these are only for this query does it doesn't change the table structure the table structure will remain the same okay it doesn't change the column names here the column names are same when, when you design the table okay this is only for representation of your data okay for your result set okay so that's table aliases and column aliases and then there is another type of join called cross joins okay so what is a cross join cross join is nothing but it's a cartesian product okay so let's say uh, there is a table students okay and student id 
okay i'm not creating a primary key column right now but and then student name and then you have another table called subjects okay so these are the subjects so i just created these two tables and i'm trying to insert some data into these tables Okay, so these are the data that goes into these tables. And let's look at the data. Yeah, so have, I have two students, John and Rob, and then I have three different classes, okay, English, Science, and Maths. So those are the subjects. So let's say these two, um, every student should take all these three uh, subjects, okay. So how do I write that query? So for that, I would say select star from students as S and cross join subjects and run it you can see john has taken english science maths rob has taken english science maths okay so basically if you are having two tables and then if you want to do a cross product okay so every record from this left table will join with every record in the right table okay so there is no condition okay so you just cross product every record in your left table will join with every record on the right table you can do cross join you can do a cross join so john studies a uh, subject this uh, english science and maths and similarly rob st uh, studies english science and maths okay so once you get your data using a cross join you can filter out your data as well where let's say s dot student name is equal to john and you can see john is in english science and maths so basically you are trying to join these two tables based on the cartesian products okay so john first record will be joining with all the data here second record will be joining with all the data so if you have two records in your left table and uh, there are three records in your right table then your total uh, records on the cross join will be two by three so that's a six records okay so that's basically cross join that you will be needing uh, to join multiple tables wherever you need a cross product of the data okay So the important interview question out of this video will be um, explain joins and what are 
what is the difference between inner left left join or right outer join or full outer join or cross join or they will try to give you a scenario where in my left table i have 10 customers right table i have so and so orders so how do i get this kind of data which join you will be using okay so that kind of questions you can expect